Hey guys, PK Streams back here, and I'm here with another video, maybe two today. Um, kind of just playing catch up today. I have a few videos being uploaded. So I'll have a um, taste test on the Captain Morgan's Apple Smash and a taste test on uh, Durian Lay's. I'll possibly have links below. All the ways, just go back to the all the videos; they'll be there. Um, I'm uploading also videos from Pop, not Pop Roach. Wow. Buck Cherry the other night. Um, besides for that, this video will be focused probably. Gonna, so this video I'm gonna be focusing on two hot sauces. Um, just because I have so much product to catch up on and all that jazz. So I'm just gonna go right into it. Um, these two hot sauces actually my girlfriend fiance's mom brought back from a sauce store in Toronto area, the uh, Pepper Palace. They also have a sauce that is called The End, which I'll have a separate video for, just so I can keep everything separated for that. Um, the first one is the Cat's Meow. Um, just reading the ingredients, I'll have the link to the Pepper Palace below, by the way. Um, vinegar, habanero peppers, um... All our sun, caspium, and exanctin gum, or however you pronounce it. Um, cat's meow, a sauce so hot it'll make your pussy wet. That's a bottle. I guess they just got it for me because of the bottle. I do love the bottle, so can't argue there. Um, once I get it open here, let's see. There we go. Whew. Right off the bat, you can smell the habaneros. Um, the lid popped off a little bit. Probably from when they were traveling. Right off the bat, you can definitely smell the habaneros. Um, and it's very vinegary. Like, I can definitely smell it. Um... I usually use crackers or something just to kind of munch it down. Uh, this one I am just going to go off of a spoon. Ooh, that's a little bit... So it is definitely runny. Um, not sure how I'm going to do this without spilling it on my laptop. Um, as you can see, it does run a bit in the spoon. Otherwise, it's nothing crazy. Definitely probably one of those things that I'll throw in like chilies or just... Mix it in with like a thicker sauce, just give that sauce a little bit more of a spice. Anyways, cheers. <sighs> I can feel it in my ears. So I love spicy stuff, but that sauce definitely did take me by surprise. Um, it has a really good flavor. It's actually not as vinegary as I suspected it to be. Suspected? Expected it to be. Um, otherwise, definitely a good go-to. Um, like I said, it's from Pepper Palace. Um, they had done another sauce that she bought me back as well, which is the end. Um, comes in a little book, but I'll have a different video for that later on. Um, I guess that's it for that one. Um, the next sauce is not actually from the same store, at least not that I'm aware of. It's from Big Grill Catering. Scotch bonnet peppers, water, vinegar, onions, garlic, salt. Um, apparently these are made in smaller batches than like Pepper Palace or some of the other bigger name chains out there. And this was the last bottle of this batch. Right off the bat, it is definitely more liquidy than the other one. 
but it does have a little bit more of a color too. Like you can see red and oranges. Um, I don't have the best lighting right now. I'll have the link to this one as well in the bottom. I actually feel bad opening because if this is the last bottle from this batch and if they're not going to make any more of this specific one, if this one I might save for more unique reasons. Having friends over for like a celebration or something and going from there. So the smell right off the bat is not going to be like you have much more of like a chili smell. Like you have the peppers and the onions and the garlic and all those like subtle smells do come out. Um, my tongue is still burning a bit, so let's see. How this goes. I'm um, gonna try to not pour as much as last time. There you go. So I got two little drops right there. So that's definitely more subtle. Um, definitely a little bit more of a sweeter, citrusy flavor, probably where the orange name popped from. That one you can just basically dabble right on your wings, I feel would bring out a nice, like, summer flavor, spring flavor. Otherwise, it's actually amazing. I actually think I like this one a bit more than this one. Not to say that I don't love my spicy stuff. I do love my spicy stuff, or else I wouldn't be doing this. Um, but flavor-wise, I would say go with the Orange Goblin between these two. Otherwise, if you do just want something spicy, I'll have them to both of those below. Um, check out my other videos that I had up. Like I mentioned, I did a taste test previously on a bunch of different drinks, including a Jack Daniels Apple Smash. And then I do also taste tests on various foods. I did one on durian lace chips. I might have those links below. Check them out. Peace.